Good morning. It's Friday, November 4th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Stan. And our scripture is Micah's prophecy, chapter 6, verse 8. Know, O people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what he requires of you, to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. On Wednesday, we said goodbye to Stan Bingham, a friend and church member. Only time and the unfolding of life's mystery and purposes of God will tell the total of Stan's doing right, loving mercy, and walking humbly with his God. However, I strongly suspect the tally of all that will not do his memory any harm in his new home, a place not made with hands, where he sees clearly what he has meant to the countless people his life and kindness touched, as well as the love with which his Savior Jesus Christ embraced him. I'm writing this on Thursday, the day before you read it, and the day after the gathering of saints and sinners to say that goodbye, and I am as exhausted as I have ever been, maybe more. Being in a sizable crowd and responsible to lead a service for someone who is a legend in North Carolina's legislative chronicles, well, my supply of energy isn't grand to begin with. Yesterday ran the tank dry. I feel a little like one of Stan's dogs that I read about in a story posted in Lexington's Dispatch about the VW that Stan had converted to run on used cooking oil. (laughs) Whenever the senator would arrive home from an event where he drove the bug, the hounds would come running to the scent of French fries. Stan said he feared he'd not get to them in time to keep them from killing themselves on fry fumes. (laughs) From saving his old dogs from themselves to more than 170 bills passed in the legislature over 16 years, Stan was always shooting for doing right, loving mercy, and being humble enough to not care who gets the credit. One of the speakers at the service, Senate President Pro Tempore Phil Berger, shared that story in his eulogy, and it helped continue the theme of a joy-filled home-going for a much-loved, larger-than-life, prank-loving legislator who was taken home so suddenly. It was, by all accounts, a great send-off. As a personal note of observation, tempered by 75 years of watching people, more than 40 of those years being a people-watching pastor, I can say that I was most impressed by a mother and her four daughters, Stan's closest family, long used to the press and the fishbowl of public life, but less mindful yesterday of the presence of all the trappings of that life rather focused on celebrating the joy of a man who loved and lived his life working for justice and mercy, all the while walking humbly with his God. For you today, you might be a good-sized cog in the wheel of life, or you might be like me, a rather smallish cog who gets worn down easily amongst the bigger cogs. Either way, remember this, you are a cog that God loves, and he has you in the right place on his wheel. So take that as seriously as my friends stand, by loving God with your whole heart, poured into doing justice, loving mercy, and walking humbly with he who gave you that first and every breath you take on this planet. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.